It's been months since Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen went missing from Fort Hood. Her family says she was sexually harassed before her disappearance. As Vanessa's family demands answers from the military, people all over the country rally in support. Overnight, hundreds marching to Houston's City Hall, demanding justice for Army soldier Vanessa Guillen. I am Vanessa Guillen becomes a movement online. This movement right now can make the positive change that we need. The I am Vanessa Guillen hashtag empowered military service members to come forward with their own stories of sexual harassment and assault within the military. They say no soldier left behind, yet they're leaving my sister behind because clearly after two months, they're trying their best to find her after two months. Just a week after the impassioned plea from Vanessa Guillen's family, her remains were found near the Leon River. Specialist Robinson's cell phone had pinged to that area the night Vanessa went missing. Vanessa was just 20 years old. Investigators bring Cecily Aguilar, Specialist Robinson's girlfriend, in for questioning. She allegedly offers up a confession of sorts that would later be made public in a criminal complaint against her. According to investigators, he tells her that he bludgeoned Vanessa to death on base with a hammer in the arms room. This is a huge break for investigators. After months of searching for answers, they say they now have Aaron Robinson's girlfriend sitting in front of them, telling them what happened. And according to them, Robinson somehow convinced her to help him get rid of the body. The pair allegedly dismembered Vanessa's body and covered her remains with concrete. The details so disturbing, her family decides not to tell Vanessa's mother exactly what happened. Y no me decían nada porque no podían decirme nada, nada, porque me decían que podía yo morir. Nada, 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 nada. On the day the remains were found, Robinson was kept under watch on Fort Hood by an unarmed escort while a case against him was being built. Investigators say Robinson watched news reports on his cell phone. He's watching this on his cell phone, and so he flees. Somehow, Robinson got past his escort. The guard gives chase, but he gets in a vehicle and he leaves Fort Hood. Robinson managed to obtain a gun. He pulls the gun out and he ends his life. He dies by suicide. Cecily Aguilar is now in jail, being held without bond. She has pled not guilty to charges relating to helping dispose of Vanessa's body. With Robinson now dead, Army officials say at a press conference the next day that while the criminal investigation into Vanessa's murder continues, they have no evidence that Robinson ever sexually harassed her. We don't know what the motive was uh, with regard to Specialist Robinson killing Vanessa. We may never know. He may have taken that motive with him to his grave. Vanessa's family wants to end sexual harassment in the military. Their fight takes them all the way to the nation's capital, where they meet with the commander-in-chief and push for legislation to be introduced in Congress. The Secretary of the Army has created a panel of civilians completely independent of the military to look at the command climate at Fort Hood. Sometimes we have to have an outside look at ourselves as well. That's rare. With so many unanswered questions around the Vanessa Guillen case, we've come here to the Pentagon to sit down with the Secretary of the Army to get some answers. I'm Ryan, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. The Guillen family has said that the Army has left them in the dark as to what happened the day their daughter vanished. We had a lot of contact with the family, about 40 different instances from April 22nd to July 1st. But when a family endures something as horrible as this, they want information immediately. We are as angry and as disappointed as they are. 
We've tried to get the answers as quickly as we can. On the day that Vanessa's remains were found, Specialist Robinson is put under the watch of an unarmed escort. How does the prime suspect in Vanessa's disappearance escape from a military base, somehow get a hold of his, a gun, and then kill himself? That's part of what we've asked General Murray to look at in his investigation as to what actions were taken and how they followed procedures. I don't have enough information to truly understand the specifics of what happened at that moment. Uh, Mr. Secretary, it's been more than four months and thousands of hours of investigation. How can the Army have no idea what Robinson's motive was? Why would he kill her in such a brutal way? Not being able to question him, we have not been able to find these facts. Is there anything you want to say to the Guillen family? We're incredibly disappointed and heartbroken for the loss of our teammate. We let you down, but we'll do everything in our power to never allow things like this happen again and to make enduring change for our institution. Will there ever be justice for Vanessa Guillen? I don't know. Just like we've seen George Floyd murals, Breonna Taylor murals, we've seen that here as well. Honoring Vanessa, not only her life as a soldier, but also her heritage. That just goes to show you how much Vanessa's story has resonated with this country and with the world. A lot of people care about her, and they didn't even know her. They honor and respect her by doing that. She deserves that and so much more. I am Vanessa Guillen. I am Vanessa Guillen. Como una, una hermosa, un hermoso ángel. I am Vanessa Guillen. I am Vanessa Guillen. I am Vanessa Guillen. Que sirvió a una nación sin saber a lo que iba. I am Vanessa Guillen. I am Vanessa Guillen. Yo soy Vanessa Guillen. Vanessa Guillen. Vanessa Guillen. que salvó a muchas muchachas de tanta maldad. We can't leave you tonight without solemn remembrances this 9-11. An American flag unfurled at the Pentagon before dawn. Bells tolling in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. A moment of silence at New York's Ground Zero, where the Twin Towers once stood tall. Social distancing at this year's tributes and memories that are never far away. Even 19 years later. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.